Prince Harry has launched his latest broadside at the media, saying that he started advocating for the military because wounded British troops weren't getting press attention. The Duke of, Su Duke of Sussex made the claim in a Netflix documentary about the Invictus Games. That's a charity he founded for injured veterans. But his comments have drawn criticism. Bombs and bullets claim the lives of 636 Brits in Afghanistan and Iraq, with thousands more wounded and needing rehabilitation here at home. Media campaigns have raised millions for military charities. Help for Heroes alone received 300 million in just 12 years. So were the Duke's remarks fair? Well, let's ask Kate Mansey, who's assistant editor with The Mail on Sunday. Welcome, Kate. Uh, what do you think? Uh, has Harry got a point? Well, I think this is just what we have come to expect, isn't it, from, from Prince Harry, this kind of taking pot shots at the, at, at the media seems to be the kind of narrative of choice. But as a kind of rare breed, I suppose, before I was a royal correspondent, I went out and covered the war in Afghanistan. Um, so I've had witnessed, you know, telling those stories of what the troops were going through um, and then, you know, bringing that to light and then... Um, remember, I remember going to Colorado in 2013 with Prince Harry when he saw the Warrior Games, which is a similar thing to the Invictus Games. It was like a Paralympics for US veterans. And Harry was blown away, he thought it was marvellous, and he was going to take it back and do it on a much bigger scale, and all credit to him. I think Invictus is a wonderful, wonderful thing. But even at the time, you know, he said to my face, he didn't think that the media was doing enough to be able to um, bring these kind of wounded the stories and, and the heroism of these wounded troops to light. We weren't doing enough. We weren't putting it on the front pages enough. Um, and then we said, OK, fine. Why don't you write a piece for Sunday Times, who I was working for then? Um, and he did a marvellous piece, actually. I remember speaking to somebody at the palace and said, you know, did he do this all himself? And they said, yeah, these were his own words. He really poured his heart and soul into this piece. Um, the editor was thrilled, and they, they put it on the front page of the news review section, so prominent. Um, but I would take issue with the fact that, you know, the media didn't do anything to cover these stories, having gone out there myself, but also think of all the journalists who went out there and lost their own lives to bring the stories of those troops back. A good colleague of mine lost his life in Afghanistan. Another photojournalist I know came back as an amputee and, and they've dedicated, you know, the survivors of those attacks have dedicated their lives to telling those stories of the troops. And I don't want to detract from Harry's huge success because I do think it's such a marvellous cause, but it does feel like a cheap pot shot really? at the media, ironically, presumably, to get more column inches. And it's a talking point, and here we are talking about it, I suppose. So it's and what, adding to his uh, press coverage. And, and, and what do you think of his, his other big claim that the royal family didn't offer him support um, or a, a support structure when he got back from Afghanistan? Is that fair? Well, I think we've heard this before, haven't we? And it feels like the same old record being played again. Um, but, of course, there are other people who came back from Afghanistan with PTSD, missing limbs, um, and had to rebuild their lives. And they didn't live in a palace. And they didn't have the privileges or the support that was open to Prince Harry. So I wonder how that will play with the, the larger kind of military family um, when he makes these, these points. And they do seem... Um, you know, he's had, he's had his say with his autobiography spare, but we hear it time and time again that his family didn't support him. Um, and and I, I would like to see him campaigning for Invictus, which is such a great cause, without kicking the family again. Um, but it doesn't seem possible that he's able to do that at present. Yeah, but being fair... It does seem like quite a cold family. You've been a, a, a royal uh, correspondent. You know, it, it, what, what he has said does not sound inconsistent with what we've seen as we've peeked behind the veil. I think, it, well, families are families, aren't they? And I think, obviously, this is a very unusual family where things are kind of arm's length, perhaps more than, you know, yours or my family would be. But having said that... You know, there is a lot of love there for him and there has been support and there have been people around him. Um, but he's chosen to go down this path and it just, it seems very damaging. Um, it doesn't seem that he's coming to terms with it either. The more he talks about it, it doesn't seem like somebody who's happy, who's he's working through his, his issues. And, you know, 
a lot of people have had, he's had that awful trauma of losing his mother and you'd never take that away from him. That must have been, I can't imagine how much, how that must have been and playing that out in the public eye must have been de devastating for him. But I'm not sure how helpful it is to him or others to, or certainly to his family to keep talking about that and rather maybe have those discussions with his family rather than sitting down with, you know, major broadcasters and Netflix and, and, and telling the world first. Okay. Good talking to you, Kate. Thank you so much. Kate Mansley from the, the Mail on Sunday. Well, let's bring in Wednesday night's uh, first edition panel for their reaction to this uh, story. With me tonight, political correspondent for Politics Joe, uh, Ava Santina, and political correspondent for The Sun, uh, Jack Elson. Uh, welcome both. Uh, let's start with you, Ava. What do we think of, uh, Jack, of, of, Jack, of Prince Harry's uh, claims? I, I think it comes across rather audacious, doesn't it? I think, you know, if you're the prince, you know, if you want to say something, everyone sort of sits down and listens. So if you wanted to give an interview to any newspaper of your choosing throughout your time while you were in the army, they would have absolutely put that front page, front and centre. So it's, it's, it just feels a bit out of touch and kind of a bit... It's lacking self-awareness, and I don't normally levy this sort of criticism at Prince Harry, but, well, Harry now, but, you know, it, it just doesn't feel right to me. Are we not calling him Prince Harry? I don't know. I don't know where we are, what are in are we this? doing? I'm not, I'm not a monarchist, I'm not a royalist, I'm just sort of playing your game, if I'm being honest with you. Like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of any of it, but, you know... <laughs> uh, so, let, let's have a look at the, the front page uh, uh, on this. Uh, we did uh, care Harry is the, the Sun's uh, line. Uh, Jack Elson uh, from The Sun, uh, where are you on this? Well, I mean, you know... It's no stranger that Harry has been a critic of the press for some time, and it might be easy to see this as sort of the latest salvo in that. Um, but these remarks are incredibly bizarre. Uh, the fact that he's claiming that the media didn't cover Afghanistan, uh, you know... No, 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 let's, let's, be, let's be clear. Not that it didn't cover Afghanistan, that the media didn't cover the injuries uh, and the trauma suffered by, by uh, some of our returning soldiers. Yes, and, you know, The Sun, as you mentioned, addresses that in great length tomorrow. We've devoted the entire spread to it. And obviously, as you, as you said, it's on the front page. And uh, the, the, the robust answer which we give is essentially, what on earth are you talking about? And we devote a lot, a lot of attention tomorrow into... You know, blow by blow, dismissing exactly what he said, bringing up articles which we've had in the past, getting the reaction of former soldiers to debunk what he said, even showing a, uh, a front page where uh, Harry was supporting our coverage and uh, you know, coming to our award ceremonies, honouring military, um, you know, military um, uh, personnel. And so, and so I think that people are going to see this, uh, this latest sort of uh, comments and think it's quite bizarre. There's, uh, we're just showing uh, the pictures of uh, inside pages of the Sun. So you're you're really doing a number on him. You're really going to town on him. <laughs> well, I think that you know when we come to defending our coverage and the press's coverage of this war. I think that we're going to be incredibly robust in it. Yes. Uh, what do we think of him making uh, this documentary uh, at all, uh, Ava? Well, it would be nice if he'd like to use some of those fu those funds maybe to help the injured. I mean, if you look at all of the centres that have been closed down recently for veterans, I mean, even in Surrey, there was that amazing centre that has been closed down in the last couple of years. Why don't you take some of the money that you've earned from this Netflix documentary and put it into that? Look, I'm, I'm a big defender of Harry and the treatment that he has endured from the press. But I, I just think that this, this feels slightly distasteful. You know, he's a millionaire. Give some of your money over if you care as much as you say you do. Right. So, we'd, so Harry... This so far has not rehabilitated his image in because that this is what we uh, people are saying that this was his his passion project. This is something he cares a lot about. It's uh, wounded soldiers. It's his chance to not only help them but to help his own uh, public image. This doesn't seem to be working out so far. I think to his credit, Harry has campaigned on this issue for a very long time. We can salute his service in the forces. I just think this is the really wrong wrong way about going about it. The and just to pick up on the on the point about the royal family, I know you're not you're not a fan, Ava, but just <laughs> this. No, the more that you hear about what goes on in mm. this family, the weirder and colder and more distant they sound. Well, yeah, Is that I mean, just me. I know. I think I think you're bang on there. I think you know we all we should have learned our lesson probably in what when Diana passed. I think we you know we, we have been told for quite some time this is not a very welcoming family. And look, I just think you know this is probably a good time to start reassessing whether we need to carry on doing this. You know, Will and Kate might take the throne in the next twenty years or so. I think maybe we should start looking at this and going, you know, is this actually something we want in uh, you know at the top upper echelons of our country? Um, let me put that to you uh, <laughs> from the from the sun just to see how you go with this. Weird family. Listen, you know, I'm sort of a supporter of the monarchy. I think it should be scaled back a bit. Um, would I want to be potentially a member of the royal family? Probably not. <laughs>
All right, quick quote. Uh, there's a quote from the series. Um, uh, Harry's asked, uh, what, do you, what do you do, Harry? He says, on any given day, I'm a dad of two uh, under three-year-olds, got a couple of dogs, I'm a husband, I'm a founding patron of the Invictus Games Foundation. So if Harry's future should be away from the, the, the media, quick suggestions on what else he might do. <laughs> mm. um, maybe be a chicken farmer, because I think he keeps chickens, doesn't he? So maybe a chicken, chicken, chicken farmer? farmer? Or huh? egg retailer. You know, there's been an egg shortage in this country. Maybe he could help Make out. Make himself that. useful. Yeah, what about some consulting? What about going to work and, you know, maybe looking at what you can do more for veterans and getting, you know, trying to eradicate homelessness amongst veterans? That might be good, some good work. No, for hasn't him. William? No, William's got, got homelessness, hasn't he? William's oh, well. Yeah, well, they can fight for that. That okay. would be a. Uh... All right. Image's big brother out in yeah. the car park. All right.